Code 404 is a British police procedural comedy drama television series created by Tom Miller, Sam Meyer and Daniel Peake and produced by Kudos. The first series premiered on the 29th of April 2020 on Sky One before later moving to Sky Comedy, but the second series premiered on the 1st of September 2021, also broadcasting simultaneously on Sky Showcase. It stars Stephen Graham and Daniel Mays and co-stars Anna Maxwell Martin, Rosa Calaverio and Tracy Ann Oberman. Set in the near future, Code 404 revolves around the pair of top-notch investigators, D.I. John Major, played by Daniel Mays, and D.I. Roy Carver, played by Stephen Graham. When Major is killed on duty, his body is transferred to an experimental artificial intelligence project to revive him. However, the AI lacks the crime-fighting instincts of Major. As of 2022, all three series had aired. The third series premiered on August 4th, 2022. The cast includes Stephen Graham as D.I. Roy Carver, Daniel Mays as D.I. John Major, Rosie Calvalero as D.C.S. Dennant, Anna Maxwell Martin as Dr. Kelly Major, Amanda Patton as Dr. Alison Parfit, and Tracy Ann Opperman as Helen Chalmers. Many characters in the series are named after famous philosophers of the mind, Derek Parfit, Daniel Dennett, Gilbert Ryle, and David Chalmers. Stephen Graham, Daniel Mays and Anna Maxwell Martin have all played police officers in BBC's Line of Duty. Graham portrayed John Corbett in Series 5, Maxwell Martin and also in Series 5 as Patricia Carmichael, and Mays as Danny Waldron in Series 3. Although they all starred in Line of Duty, none of them appeared in an episode together. Now, I've absolutely loved this show from first viewing. Daniel Mays here is absolutely excellent as D.I. John Major and has some of the funniest lines and just delivers on the comedy so perfectly within the show. There's sort of a serious undertone to the show as well at times, and Stephen Graham is sort of playing the more straight-laced, run-of-the-mill policeman as D.I. Roy Carver, where Daniel Mays now as G.I. John Major, as I said earlier, is completely over-the-top and hilarious. He's just downright so stupid at times, naive, and far too arrogant for a policeman that often messes up more than he gets things right. And Mays delivers this perfectly. His comedy slapstick is on time. His expressions are absolutely hilarious and he delivers the script with such ease and competency. The rest of the cast are on point as well, but really the show revolves primarily around Stephen Graham and Daniel Mays here. I love the idea of the show now being set in the future, and playing off this sort of Robocop prototype, although actually really showing you that AI can't do everything, as of course Detective John Major here is a complete and utter imbecile at times, and really does get things right purely by chance. The back and forth here between Stephen Graham and Daniel Mayers is absolutely perfect and the two have a fantastic chemistry and play off each other really well. I love the little additions here of Dr. Alison Parfit, played by Amanda Patton, the doctor that basically runs and creates the DI, John Major's new artificial intelligence. And also Rosie Calvalero as DCS Dennant is one of the best roles as well as she just delivers her lines absolutely perfectly as she's the dim-witted leader of the police per se. Of course, the wonderful Anna Maxwell Martin adds perfectly to her role as D.I. Major's ex, as she now builds her potential love interest with Roy Carver, played by Graham. Look, this is all round just a good, fun show. Nothing fancy, nothing over the top. The stories keep you interested, and there's a little whodunit facet to each one of them. And Series 3, like I said, really now does play off the idea of who could be the next victim, and who really is the perpetrator. But fundamentally though, you really watch this for the fantastic chemistry between Graham and Mays and Mays's fantastic delivery on all the comedic lines. This is a good, fun, easy show set in the future, playing off how we rely maybe too much on technology at times and how good old-fashioned wit can sometimes just get you through the most toughest of situations. Code 404 gets an 8.5 out of 10.